Okay, in this example, um, we're looking to use our calculator to read off uh, probabilities from the standard normal distribution. That's the normal distribution which is represented by Z um, with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. <coughs> so, always good with um, normal distribution questions to draw a little sketch of what you're trying to find. So for part A here, Z is less than 1.52. So my normal looks like that. Zero is there. So 1.52 is going to be this side of the curve. So the region that I'm interested in finding the area of, and hence the probability, is that region. So on our um, calculators, so Z is less than 1.52. So on the calculator, you want to go to menu, 7, 2 for the normal cumulative distribution. And then when we are required to put a lower boundary in, um, when we went through the properties of the normal distribution curve, we know that the x-axis goes from minus infinity to plus infinity. But within three standard deviations, the area gets very, very small. So what I have to put in there is at my lower boundary, a very small number, small negative number. And the easiest one to use is negative one times 10 to the 99. So my lower boundary is going to be minus one times 10 to the 99. My upper boundary is 1.52. The standard deviation is one. Um, let's just go back to that for a sec. Standard deviation is one and the mean is zero. So they are right, giving me a probability uh, of 0.9357. So that's it, the probability for that distribution of selecting a number less than 1.52 is 93.5 or 93.6%. B, probability that Z is greater than 2.6. So greater than 2.6 is this side of the curve again but this time I'm interested in that region. So my upper limit has to go into something very large. And we put that in as one times 10 to the 99. So the probability that Z is greater than 2.60. So my lower limit, 2.6. My upper limit, one times 10 to the 99. Standard deviation of 1, mean of 0, so 4.66 times 10 to the minus 3, so that's 0 0.0047. C, Z is less than negative 0.75. So this time, with this side of the curve. So minus 0 0.75. My lower limit would be negative one times 10 to the 99. <coughs> that will give me, so my lower limit, negative one times 10 to the 99 upper limit negative 0 0.75 and I'm saying negative because it's this button not the subtract button that we're using so that's going to be 0 0.2266 and then finally D We're looking for the probability 
and that Z is between 1.18 and 1.43. So on my curve now, I'm looking for minus 1.18, 1.43 so this is the area <coughs> that I'm interested in working out now with most of these questions they've become much more straightforward because we can use a calculator the old lookup tables uh, that you needed to use only gave you values um, like this one where you got Z is less than something so where you're working with greater than or betweens you had to take the less than away from one or from each other. So life has become much easier with the use of the calculator. So the lower boundary is going to be negative 1.18. The upper boundary 1.43. Giving me a probability of 0 0.8046. So that's EG10.